Endovenous ablation of varicose veins Endovenous ablation is a procedure to close off varicose veins. Endovenous means that the procedure is done inside the vein. The physician uses endovenous ablation therapy to treat venous incompetence in an extremity vein. Mechanochemical endovenous ablation, MOCA, uses a rotating wire in conjunction with an infused sclerosing agent to damage the wall of the vein. The most common site of treatment is the greater saphenous vein. The procedure includes any imaging guidance and monitoring. Endovenous ablation therapy of incompetent vein, extremity inclusive of all imaging guidance and monitoring, percutaneous, mechanochemical, first vein treated. Subsequent vein, S, treated in a single extremity, each through separate access sites. The leg is prepared and draped and a local anesthetic is applied to the puncture site. A needle is inserted into the access site. A guide wire is placed into the vessel using ultrasound guidance. An introducer sheath is placed over the guide wire and the guide wire is removed. A wire catheter system is introduced and the tip is advanced to the site of the venous incompetence under ultrasound guidance. The wire catheter system is connected to a handle with a motor that provides the rotation to the wire. The system is started for about 10 seconds to create vasospasm and slowly withdrawn with continuous infusion of sclerosing agent. The ablation catheter and introducer sheath are removed and pressure is applied to the puncture site. A compression stocking is applied for the immediate 24 hours and replaced daily for the following two weeks. Endovenous ablation therapy of incompetent vein, extremity, inclusive of all imaging guidance and monitoring, percutaneous, radiofrequency, first vein treated, plus subsequent vein, S, treated in a single extremity, each through separate access sites. The radiofrequency ablation catheter system is introduced and the tip is advanced to the site of the venous incompetence under ultrasound guidance. A local anesthetic agent is injected into the tissues surrounding the vein within its facial sheath along the course of the vein. Ultrasonography is used to position the catheter tip at the level of the terminal valve and the catheter electrodes are deployed. The electrodes should be just distal to the valve cusps of the terminal valve. Radio frequency energy is applied. Once the temperature is reached, the catheter tip is slowly withdrawn until it reaches the introducer sheath in the distal vein. The ablation catheter and introducer sheath are removed and pressure is applied to the puncture site. Endovenous ablation therapy of incompetent vein, extremity, inclusive of all imaging guidance and monitoring, percutaneous, laser, first vein treated, plus subsequent vein, S, treated in a single extremity, each through separate access sites. Laser energy is used to heat the vein and seal the vein closed. The laser ablation catheter system is introduced and the tip is advanced to the site of the venous incompetence under ultrasound guidance. A local anesthetic agent is injected into the tissues surrounding the vein within its facial sheath. The anesthetic is injected along the course of the vein. Ultrasonography is used to position the catheter tip at the level of the terminal valve and laser energy is applied via a laser fiber along the length of the vein as the catheter is slowly withdrawn. When the laser catheter tip reaches the introducer sheath in the distal vein, the laser energy is terminated. 
The ablation catheter and introducer sheath are removed and pressure is applied at the puncture site. Endovenous ablation therapy of incompetent vein, extremity, by transcatheter delivery of a chemical adhesive, e.g., cyanoacrylate, remote from the access site, inclusive of all imaging guidance and monitoring, percutaneous, first vein treated. Subsequent vein, S, treated in a single extremity, each through separate access sites. Through a small incision, the physician uses a needle to position an intravenous catheter the length of the incompetent vein. A chemical adhesive, such as cyanoacrylate, is injected through the catheter via a special type of applicator and into the vein under imaging guidance. A small amount of the chemical adhesive is injected approximately every 3 cm along the vein causing sclerosis or a hardening of the vein. To minimize dispersing of the chemical adhesive, ultrasound compression of the outflow vein is often included in these procedures. Endometrial ablation Endometrial ablation is a procedure to remove a thin layer of tissue, endometrium, that lines the uterus. It is done to stop or reduce heavy menstrual bleeding. Endometrial ablation, thermal, without hysteroscopic guidance. The physician inserts a soft, flexible balloon attached to a thin catheter into the vagina through the cervix and into the uterus. The balloon is inflated with fluid. The fluid in the balloon is heated and maintained for 8 to 9 minutes. When the treatment is complete, all the fluid is withdrawn from the balloon and the balloon and catheter are removed. Endometrial cryoablation with ultrasonic guidance, including endometrial curatage, when performed. The physician inserts a speculum for visualization of the cervix. A numbing block is placed in the cervix. A thin cryoablation device is inserted through the cervix into the uterus. The cryoablation device freezes targeted uterine endometrial tissue. The instrument is withdrawn following completion of the procedure. Ultrasound provides visualization of probe placement and real-time monitoring of the ice ball growth. The lining of the uterus is scraped. RFA Radiofrequency ablation of the inferior turbinates, RFA is a minimally invasive surgical technique that reduces turbinate size and decreases nasal obstruction. Ablation, soft tissue of inferior turbinates, unilateral or bilateral, any method, e.g., electrocautery, radiofrequency ablation, or tissue volume reduction, superficial, intramural, i.e., submucosal. The physician uses electrocautery and slash or ablation to reduce inflammation or remove excessive mucosa from the inferior nasal turbinates unilaterally or bilaterally. Cauterization may be superficial or may be placed deep into the mucosa. Topical vasoconstrictive agents are applied to the nasal mucosa. Excessive or hypertrophied mucosa is cauterized or ablated and may be excised. 